Even as a young person and still today, I was very concerned with the question of why. Like, why does it work like this? How come it happens like this? There was a fundamental protocol for how to go about proving why something happens. And that was, that resonated with me as a, even as a really young student. I'm Adam Friedman and I'm class of 1998. When friends ask me about Gordon, I, it's, it always starts with a smile. It was such a wonderful experience, and I know that that's not unique to me. I know that my classmates and everybody who really goes through Gordon would answer that question with a smile. And I remembered Mrs. Kettner would come down the hallway with her cart full of science equipment, and it was always so exciting. I always looked forward to it. And that's really where I learned um, to be a scientist. Mrs. Kettner taught us the scientific method. You have a question, you have a hypothesis, a procedure, discussion, conclusions you can draw from that, and it's, it really stayed with me. I, I loved that process. We had to confirm that the pond was in good health, in a good state of being, and you do that by doing good science. Environmentalism or conservation, it was tied not only into the science curriculum here, but into sort of the ethos of the school. It just, it resonated with what this school was about, protecting the environment, doing good science. It was all wrapped up in one another. It's sort of like an amalgam that just Gordon built up in me as a young student. It sort of helped plot a course for me in terms of I knew I wanted to be a scientist, I think, and that, that came fairly early at Gordon. And then, well, how am I going to apply that? Well, I love the idea of protecting what's all around us, this beautiful campus, this pond. You know, and that, and that gave sort of an applied direction to my academic interests, and that all started here.